besties i am so happy you are here i wanted to let you know that i am still offering a coupon code grateful which is 10 percent off actually any of my services at my website www.marinastarot.com i do offer private readings over there but the format has changed a tiny bit instead of one-on-one -on -one readings i'm actually doing a recorded reading like what you see on my youtube channel but it's 100 percent customized and personal for you and you get the link and you get to keep it for however long you want and you can rewatch it as many times as you want and I don't know I just feel like this is more effective and you get to hold on to it you can rewatch it all that good jazz but my coupon code is still applicable from March 1st to March 31st of 2022 grateful at my website www.marinastarot.com to get 10% off any service I love you cuties and I hope you enjoy hello besties I hope you are having an amazing morning evening or night when you are stumbling upon this video if you are new here my name is Liv and we do weekly tarot readings here every single week so if you like what you see definitely be sure to subscribe and join our family and if you are returning hello i am so happy to see you i love you i adore you and thank you so much for being here today for today's video we are definitely doing a much more chill vibe it is very late in the evening when i am filming this here and i'm just in a very good mellow chilled out state of mind and i was gonna sit down to film a pick a card but spirit said i just need to give a good classic collective reading so if you're used to the pick a card format this is going to be a little different i do have dozens and dozens of pick a card readings on my channel that you can go watch if you're into that vibe as well but today we are just tuning into a message straight from source to the collective so what that means is i'm not tuning into any specific piles or any specific message i am just getting this energy that the collective all of us really need to hear something right now so that's really what i'm tapping into spirit here that's really what i'm gaining from this reading um what that means is that this is not going to be as specific as some of the pick a cards may be so definitely take what resonates and leave what doesn't all right but I'm really just feeling the energy that there's just a message that needs to be heard, so we're going to deliver it. All right, we're going to go into tarot. We're going to go into oracle. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. All right, so let's go ahead and honestly just hop right into it. I'm being called to do a quick little guided breath thing for you real quick. Not a meditation by any means, but just let's do some three grounding deep breaths real quick. This, I really feel like it's helpful to get not only me grounded, um, but you as well. So if you would like to do this with me, I more than recommend it, but of course you are not required you don't have to do this but i'm going to take three deep breaths and if you would like to join me let's go ahead and do that now we're going to breathe in for three hold for three and then release all the way out all right so let's breathe in hold release breathe in All right, one last grounding breath here, spirit. Breathe in. All right. Let's go ahead and start with the tarot. If there is anything on your mind that you are asking about, if there is anything you're hoping to seek guidance on, definitely tune in and prioritize that energy right now. Otherwise, I'm just really going to focus on whatever general message spirit has to say. All right. So let's go ahead and see spirit. What do we have to say for our collective right now? What needs to be heard? What needs to be said? Is there a hype message in here, spirit? You tell me. All right. Let's go ahead and see. We are starting off with the Modern Witch Tarot. As always on all of my videos, all of the decks I use will be linked down below for you, for you to check out. So interesting. Okay, this was on the bottom of the deck and I was like, why does that feel like it's gonna pop out? And then she popped out here. Starting off with the Five of Pentacles here, what this shows me is that you might be kind of lately in this feeling and this energy of a feeling of lack. Um, I know that there's a lot of people who read the Five of Pentacles like poverty and I'm not disagreeing with that but whenever I see the five of pentacles personally I really view it more as like a state of mind a state of being and I feel like when I see the five of pentacles especially with what I'm getting with you right now I really feel like there is just this energy of ah, how do I even word this 
This feeling of being left out in the cold, and this could definitely be by a person, a family member, or etc. Or maybe you just feel like right now life is shutting you out. And what I mean by that is, I don't know if anybody else has been feeling this way in 2022, but sometimes it feels like the world is moving on without me, right? Like the world is spinning faster than I'm keeping up with. And oftentimes that can leave us feeling really left out. That can leave us feeling like we're behind, behind the curve, behind the crowd. And almost like I'm getting this visual of like a little kid who's trying to keep up with their parents but their parents have longer legs they're walking a lot faster and the kid is getting left behind and that's a really really crappy feeling so if you've been feeling that lately just understand that that is coming to an end here because we got the world paired right next to it this also could represent a financial hardship your girl has been going through it in 2022 with finances and i personally know a lot of people close to in my life that are also going through the same energy so if 2022 has been rough for you financially so far i should mention this is timeless but when i'm posting this it is 2022 and we've kind of just started the year and it's been a financial struggle lately your girl I get your girl gets it okay like I totally understand but just understand that I really do feel like there's a turning point coming I really do feel like that low period of financial abundance that low fear period where it's honestly been feeling like poverty all right that is coming to an end especially with the world card here the world card represents endings and beginnings and it represents that a cycle of this energy needs to end so that a new one can blossom and a new one can begin and i do feel bear with me all right i do feel like that is again a mindset all right because even if we have nothing we can still be in the mindset of having everything as you all know i've been reading the magic lately and it's been really getting me in the mindset of the attitude of gratitude even when i've been feeling like i've had nothing even when i've been worried about how the freak am i going to pay my bills this month when i seriously to get into the attitude of gratitude spirit finds a way to bless me maybe not with literal dollars but with other forms of abundance and i'm not saying that that's necessarily going to happen for everybody i'm not trying to pr pr promote what am i trying to say i'm not trying to preach that here but i am just trying to get you in the headset of attitude of gratitude even for the littlest things because there is an up and coming season of growth of progression of change and it is so beautiful and i absolutely love it for you i love 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 it all right and especially when you see the five of pentacles in the world paired right there like the world is saying this hard time this hard time is coming to an end and change is honestly right upon us change is right upon us okay yeah we also got the nine of swords here the nine of swords represents a lot of internal battles the nine of swords represents that maybe you've been going through it this is kind of what i was feeling from spirit was just tuning into the collective energy of feeling drained and exhausted and overwhelmed if you've been just tired if you've been like live I just need to catch a mother freaking break. Spirit is saying, I see you and I hear you. And they really want you to know that. If you've been feeling like you've been talking on deaf ears lately or falling on deaf ears... Oh my god, I almost just started crying. I'm so sorry. If you've been feeling like you're falling on deaf ears, Spirit is saying, I know it feels that way, but I truly, genuinely, and honestly am here for you. I am here for you. I love you. I care about you. And during this moment, rest, all right? Rest, recover, heal. I know that it is a privilege to rest. So if you have the ability to rest, then do so. If you have the ability to relax and kind of just, just take that time, all right? A message I am getting is also to kind of get off of social media for a little bit i feel like i talk about this all the time in my readings even though y'all know my whole job is quite literally social media but sometimes especially with what's going on in the current events right now it can become overwhelming i'm not staying to, not saying to stay out of the loop i'm not saying not to be aware of what's going on around you in the world but if we're kind of consuming it obsessively it can really really put us in an energy that we can't benefit anybody not even ourselves and if you're in that space right now turn off the news for a little bit go take a walk outside get in touch with another Gaia or take a nap like rest recover and heal because the nine of swords is just showing me that you've been really going through it you're feeling overwhelmed exhausted energetically just like burnt out and spirit is saying I hear you I understand I see yeah you even got the freaking ten of wands babe what is going on I just like I I hurt for you and I'm not saying that you're like I don't know how to word this I feel like I'm getting really in my head tonight and maybe maybe you are also in your head because I'm definitely tuning into like getting in my own way second guessing my thoughts second guessing what I'm saying and that might be an energy I'm tuning into if you are someone who definitely second guesses yourself a lot with that swords energy right swords represent the element of air which represents your thoughts your thinking your kind of internal dialogue if you will and if you are someone who's really been doubting yourself questioning 
questioning yourself, questioning your self-worth. Spirit is saying take that time of rest because your intuition is so valuable. Your intuition is so important. And I kind of just feel like it's been stilted lately. And that is just not the vibe, okay? Your intuition deserves their moment. Your intuition deserves to be able to speak, speak loudly, speak clearly, and speak freely. And right now, that's what we really need to remember to get in contact with. And so if you're struggling with that, just ask Spirit when you're in this Nine of Swords energy, when you're able to kind of just rest and recover, ask them to show you a way where you can really connect with your intuition again. With the Ten of Wands here, we're burnt out, all right? That is the energy I'm tuning into right now. If you've been feeling burnt out, if you've been feeling like you've been doing so effing much and seeing much, not munch, if you feel like you've been doing so effing much and not seeing any reward, Spirit again is saying, I hear you. And I feel people getting really pissed off right now. And I totally understand. Like, I understand and I love you. <laughs> okay, I love you. I hear you. And your feelings are so freaking valid. I can't even begin to tell you. But spirit truly, truly is saying, I hear you. I'm here for you. And they're saying, don't give up. All right. If you're feeling overwhelmed, if you're feeling like you're taking on the whole freaking world and no one is there to help you, spirit is saying, ask. All right. And I know that sometimes we don't have literal people in our life that we can ask for help, but we 100% do have people in the astral realm, our spirit guides, you know, God, if you resonate with that, Gaia, if you resonate with that, whatever you resonate with, source, spirit, universe, light, source, energy, God, Gaia, the heaven heavens we do have them and we are able to rest our head upon their shoulders and so start practicing that as well the ten of wands is really really telling me especially with the nine of swords here that you are maybe just taking on a little too much right now i might be tuning into my people pleasers who have a really hard time saying no if you have a hard time saying no just remember that saying no is not selfish saying no is self-loving all right saying no is a practice of self-love and understanding how you feel and your worth and that is absolutely not a selfish thing to do it is an actual beautiful thing to do because it's saying hey i love myself enough to know my boundaries and to set them and respect them and that is absolutely okay and do not let somebody shame you for saying no absolutely not if you have a big transition in your life coming up right now a move a new job maybe you're out of work at this current moment maybe you've been manifesting a new job and it hasn't been showing itself to you that can feel very 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 overwhelming that can feel like you have the whole world on your shoulders and so if you you can again i know this is a privilege so i'm not saying it's for everybody but if you can just take a day a day off from whatever you've been doing a day off from searching for a job a day off from you know going to interviews just one day to really be quiet with yourself connect with yourself and connect with your guys and ask them to show you the path to take because i kind of feel this energy where we do fall it does feel like we fall on deaf ears sometimes but truly and honestly i kind of am getting the energy of someone like me okay who asks spirit for advice asks spirit for guidance but then i don't like what they have to say so i plug my ears and walk the other way you know what i'm saying i'm like spirit please show me what am i not seeing la 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 and so maybe that's what you're kind of in the mindset of right now too and again this is not about shaming that it's just about identifying that and realizing that might right now we might need to hear spirit for exactly what it is even even if the news or even if the answer is not the most savory thing, it is the honest truth and spirit is wanting to help you. I see that especially here with the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Aces always represent new beginnings. And that's what I'm seeing here. I feel like there are new beginnings. But again, new beginnings aren't always automatically easy. New beginnings aren't automatically super, super fun. Growth is so beautiful and it's something that we should all do. But sometimes it freaking sucks. Sometimes it hurts. Sometimes it is the most uncomfortable, painful thing that we go through doesn't mean it's any less beautiful no but does it mean that we can't cry and scream along the way absolutely not let yourself feel let yourself go through this and understand that all of your feelings are valid all of your emotions are valid so don't be hard on yourself if you're feeling exhausted don't be hard on yourself if you're feeling burnt out is a loud message i'm getting i feel a lot of self-judgment here i feel a lot of self-shame especially because most of the people in the cards are almost like hunching over right they're hunching over and hunching over shows a sign of insecurity hunching over shows a sign of like reclusivity is what i'm saying you've been really reclusive with yourself with other people spirit is saying understandable all right but it's time to rest recover and then stand up straight and show the world who you freaking are the world yes okay show yourself who you are 
stand up, stand loud, stand proud because you are beautiful, you are magnificent, you are wonderful, you are amazing. And I know right now it doesn't feel that way and that's all right. All right, no one is saying to wake up tomorrow and feel like a million dollars. All we're saying is take it one day at a time, take a day of rest, ask people in your life for help if you can and say no to others, all right? Say no, it's okay to say no. All right, don't feel shame around saying no. If you have someone at your work who asks you to do all these things all the time and you're afraid of saying no because what if I say no that I lose my job or what if I say no and I make myself replaceable right now I'm indispensable but if I say no then live I become dispensable that's not true all right that is a mindset that we are letting go of in 2022 because you deserve to say no you deserve to say honestly I don't think I can manage that right now I have all these other projects going on I have all this other stuff going on in my life right now and I simply cannot manage another task I'm you know I'm sorry but maybe as somebody who has more on their you know open on their plate because if I say yes to you right now what that actually means is that I'm gonna try and probably not be able to finish it so I'd rather not commit to you if I'm unable to do it you know what I'm saying like be honest with yourself and be honest with other people the ace of swords represents new opportunities and I feel like spirit is saying hey there's so many beautiful things upon your horizon there's so many beautiful things upon the energy of going through this growth, going through this transitional period. I feel like new ways of thinking are going to bloom. I feel like new ways of seeing, new ways of being, maybe new ideas coming into your mind about how you can make your life streamline a little easier. New ideas coming into your life about how you can ask people for help, how you can ask spirit for help, how you can prioritize your own self-love and your own self-care. If you get these ideas, if you get these thoughts, feelings, or emotions, please listen to them when they come because that is spirit trying to speak to you in this moment and it's definitely incredibly valuable so listen to that when it comes all right oh beautiful okay we got the ten of pentacles i really do feel like these new thoughts these new ways of being are going to bring a lot of abundance into your life they're going to bring a lot of you know just joy and rewards and again i know it doesn't always feel like that in the moment but i truly do believe it's going to happen you also got two tens and two nines if you've been seeing the number 10 10 lately or 111 if you've been seeing the number 919 or 999 definitely listen to tune into that very very powerful angel number as well because they are wanting to speak to you in that way absolutely freaking lutely positivity tootly okay but these new ways of thinking this growth it is going to pay off i know that sometimes it feels like live why am I going through this if I'm not seeing any results? Why am I going through all of this struggle, all these burdens, if it's really not benefiting me? And Spirit is saying it is benefiting you in the long run. The Ten of Pentacles not only represents financial abundance and a lot of financial success and stability, but it represents that this is generational wealth. What I mean by that, even if you're like, Liv, I don't freaking want kids, okay? But it just kind of means like, when I see the Ten of Pentacles, I view it like this is not just financial stability for one week, one month, one period of your life. You are creating financial stability that is going to last lifetimes, that is going to last generations, that's going to last, you know, your whole life. And that's what is so beautiful. I know the growth is uncomfortable. I know the growth is painful. I know that right now it feels like everything is falling apart and that you're doing this all on your own. But Spirit is saying keep going and keep growing because what is going to come? from this what is going to come from this growth is a lot of financial stability a lot of feeling safe and secure and i want to remind remind you that security and safety don't always come in the form of abundance i recently got married as y'all know and i was basically already married to my partner we've been living together for many years we'd already been splitting all the bills so i was kind of figuring to myself nothing's really going to change for me you know and then somebody asked me about a week or two or not even i think it was a couple days i don't know why i said that when we were on our honeymoon someone asked us oh you know what's the big difference of being married do you feel any different and I truthfully expected it to be like when you have a birthday and your birthday day and everyone's like oh you feel a year older you truly don't right you feel like it's the next day but somebody made a big deal about it well the one thing that changed for me when I got married was this feeling of security that I truly wasn't expecting I felt so safe I felt so safe and I felt so secure and that provided me that secure feeling of the ten of pentacles and that provided me the safety that I always desired with the Ten of Pentacles. So security and safety and that kind of feeling of security doesn't always necessarily have to be from finances. It could be from, you know, owning a house. It could be from finally paying off a car. It could be from getting a job that is long term. Like whatever it looks like for you, just be open. That's a loud message I'm getting for you is don't block the flow. I know sometimes it can be really easy and honestly very earthly of us to block the flow in which we kind of receive abundance and what I 
I mean by that is when we are in that loop of working a job that does not serve us, living in a life that does not serve us, making less than we deserve to make, it can be really easy to think something like, oh, I'll only be rich if I somehow win the lottery. That is the only way I'm going to be rich. That's the only realistic way I'm going to be rich. But you have to understand that when we say that, we are 100% putting our abundance in a box and saying, spirit, this is the one and only way I can receive that. And spirit might want to give it to you in a different form, maybe in the form of a gift or maybe maybe in the form of an amazing job that's going to pay you way freaking more than you have right now, whatever it looks like. So don't put your abundance, don't put the way you can have this stability, this comfort, this security in a box. Just manifest the feeling. What would it feel like if you were incredibly financially secure? Because it is on its way to you. And just a loud message I'm getting for you is just to not put yourself in a box. Don't put spirit in a box either because spirit likes to go and flow in many different ways. And when we put this limitation on them, it can be very, very hard. You also got the nine of wands and this is just a confirmation to not give up. The nine of wands is all about kind of pushing through and continuing on that endurance. Easier said than done, I know. And the nine of wands is not saying that this is an easy battle. The nine of wands is not saying that this is super, super comfortable like I've been saying, but the nine of wands is 100% saying it is worth it. This journey, this change, this new shift that is happening to you, I'm not saying it's easy, but I am saying it's going to be absolutely worth it. A quote coming to my head right now is don't give up right before the miracle occurs all right please keep pushing please keep growing and being open to the new changes coming your way if you need to rest rest listen to your body is a message i'm receiving here if your body's saying rest please listen to it if you have the privilege and the ability to do so if your body is saying like you know take me outside let's go on a walk listen to it all right listen to your body listen to your soul because right now that is so important for you the next cards we're using are the work your light oracle again all decks are going to be linked down below that i am using here today spirit what do we have to say for our collective right now any other words about this reading what do we have to say Spirit, please show me. Please speak to me loudly, clearly, and through me. You got leap. Okay. And what card did we get here? Warrior woman. Yes, please. I want to be very specific when I say that I do not believe that I am only tuning in and tapping into my female... Um, or those who identify as female right now, my audience, I don't know why I couldn't finish that sentence. Just tuning into the energy of divine feminine is what I'm going to read when I think of the warrior woman. Have you answered your deepest calling? All right let's talk about it all right if you've been going through this journey of like live i know i need to shift and change and grow but i don't know where to go this is why that resting and really focusing on your inner voice is so important right now because there is so much going on with the collective like i'm not even joking i feel like so many people regardless of your age regardless of where you are in life are just waking up and they're realizing i don't want to be on this treadmill of life i don't want to be on and let me plus specify what i mean by that <laughs> i don't want to be on this treadmill of working at a job I don't like, living in a relationship I don't like, you know, being in a place I don't like. I want to live the life I've always wanted. And that's what I meant by that. I want to be very, 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 very clear. But I feel like sometimes we can kind of live on a treadmill. We can kind of be in this routine of being stuck, 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 stuck. And I feel like there's just so many people waking up right now that are like, you know what? why why am i living this life that i don't want to live when i can live one that's full of the abundance i desire i could work a job i love i don't have to put myself in a box and we're just waking up if you feel this desire to answer your deepest calling good of all harm to none if you feel this desire to answer your deepest calling start listening to that i'm not saying to make an impulsive decision and quit your job tomorrow and go open your own business if that's what you want to do all power to you but i'm not saying that's what you have to do but it starts with very 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 small simple steps what brings you so much joy all right again good of all harm to none do you love painting but you haven't painted in years because you're just like ah, oh, whatever it's a waste of my time it doesn't really bring about anything so i'm not going to engage in that start engaging in that all right start painting again do you love cooking but you feel like it's just too much work for a single person household start cooking again because you deserve it and these things i know they may seem small what i'm saying right now and they may seem very trivial but these are going to lead you to listening to your soul and when when you start listening to your soul it's going to show you what your deepest calling is and then you can learn to follow that and when you do start hearing that your universe the universe is saying to you take the leap of faith you go first the universe will catch you you are so freaking guided and i know sometimes it doesn't feel like that especially with the nine of swords and ten of wands energy 
and the five of pentacles i know sometimes it feels like live you have no idea what you're talking about the universe does not have my back i've been asking i've been praying i've been meditating and they just keep coming up empty-handed and what i want to say about that is one your feelings are entirely valid and also you don't have to take what i'm saying here all right this is simply a tool it is guidance it is by no means no way shape or form am i trying to overpower your intuition always listen to that first but if you have been thinking about making a change in your life if you have been thinking about about doing that the guides are telling you you are honestly so protected and again you know start small if that makes you comfortable you know start by just practicing the things you love after work or when you have free time instead of you know maybe watching a movie you engage in something that really 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 sparks your creativity like painting drawing dancing um and you know whatever it is being outside in nature singing cooking you know whatever it looks like for you good of all harm to none take those little moments towards yourself and it's going to help bring about this deep connection with your soul and that is going to lead you to find an idea that's really going to benefit you and that's when spirit is saying take that leap of faith again taking the leap of faith is going to lead us to the ten of pentacles and i want to be very clear when i also remind you that take up the leap of faith looks very different for everybody i know when we hear a leap of faith we think of something really big like move across the country take that leap of faith quit your job take a leap of faith um you know, break up with your significant other, take a leap of faith. But you know, for a lot of us, taking a leap of faith is wearing an outfit that we never thought we would wear out of the house out of the house taking a leap of faith could be you know what i know that consuming this product is not beneficial for me so i'm gonna stop taking a leap of faith could be you know what i know that hanging around these people all the time is really really draining so i'm gonna start putting up boundaries taking a leap of faith could be saying no whatever your leap of faith is it is valuable it is beautiful don't compare it to what other people's leaps of faith are don't compare it to something big and grandest even though that is absolutely wonderful i don't think grandest is a word um but something big and grand even though those are actually just as valuable but i don't want you to shame your small leaps because they are so beautiful and just as valuable to remember all right you also got transformation i don't think i've ever in my life pulled this card but this gives me major segment vibes who is an egyptian goddess so if you resonate with that definitely call on segment as well transformation things are changing at a cellular level deep healing this is exactly what i've been freaking saying this whole reading i feel like our as a collective right now we are going through deep healing we are going through an energy of needing to heal of needing to reset recover and sometimes it freaking sucks which is why with the nine of wands sorry the nine of swords and the ten of wands it's important to identify when you are getting burnt out and take that time to rest and heal because as long as you keep pushing your energy is going to keep being depleted and right now your energy needs to kind of be at a high because things are shifting and changing and think about it when you literally change at a cellular level you are upgrading okay so think about it like a video game when you upgrade in a video game you have all new stats maybe you're stronger maybe you're you know can take more hits or whatever it is i really don't play video games so i don't know why i'm talking about this but i play D, &D. <laughs> um so i'm kind of thinking about it in those terms but when you level up you gain these awesome abilities which you are gaining right an opportunity to take a leap of faith tuning into your deepest calling new ways of thinking determination a lot of abundance these are things that lie ahead when you up level your life which is going to be so beautiful but what also comes with that needing to rest and needing to heal needing to understand your body and listen to it because when things start to pick up it's going to be really important that you know when to slow down when things start to pick up it's going to be really important that you don't take on every single possible duty and that you really learn time management how to say no to others because you're going to need to learn that skill you're going to need to learn how to value yourself and i'm not saying you don't already value yourself but if you do keep going all right prioritize valuing yourself your body your mind your energy your soul your 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 time learn to value that and prioritize that because right now there is so much healing that needs to happen and that is going to happen through rest and recovery and really really connecting with your guys all right all right let's go ahead and end off tonight's reading with some positive affirmations from the affirmators cards here spirit what do we have to say to kind of end off this reading any additional messages we need to hear for this beautiful timeless reading here good things to come 
There are so many amazing gifts coming my way. I can't see them now because I respect the general convention of not peeking under wrapping paper, but they will show up when the time is just right. And that's when I'll remember how much fun it is to be surprised. This is hitting me at like a soul level right now because honestly, I feel like I needed this collective message just as much as I hope you guys are receiving it. All right, good things are to come. I just feel like right now that's hard to believe. I definitely feel like I was tuning into people who are just like tired and fed up and it's kind of a hard thing to even imagine that things could be looking up right now. But Spirit is saying there are so many good things on the way. There are so many good things that are coming in your direction and it's really, really, really really it's really coming okay i know it's hard to believe and right now they're saying i know i can't see it yet i can't see it yet because i want to be surprised all right i know i can't see it right now but that doesn't mean it doesn't it's not coming you know what i'm saying like think about it at nighttime i can't see the sun but i know it's going to rise i know like i know like i know that it is going to rise even though i can't see the sun rising at nighttime at 2 a.m i can't see the sun rising at 8 a.m the next morning i know it will be there i know when i wake up the sun will rise just like i know that these good things are to come my way because i deserve them because i'm an abundant person because i'm an abundant being that is attracting this to me ten of pentacles energy good things are on their way to you all right spirit what else do we have to say for this beautiful reading here today any other messages love love is a many splendor thing today i will notice and appreciate at least three of those splendors like the fact that puppies make me feel like a parent or the surge of self-congratulation i feel when i sing a three-point trash basket on the first try or how about the chills i get when singing along to name of song you know the one all right kind of focusing on that glass half full energy that can be very hard to do when things just kind of suck <laughs> i don't know how else to word that like it can be really annoying to think about looking at the glass half full when you're just like going the heck through it like you don't want to look at the glass half full you want to really talk about how freaking annoying the world has been lately and i totally 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 understand that but again going back to the magic which i talked about in the beginning i'm also going to link that link that book for you in the description as well if you want to check it out it is like a workbook with you know daily um practices that you can do to really get your set self in the headspace of gratitude this is just about finding that silver lining and again I know that it's difficult, but anytime you can, if anything brings you joy throughout the day, think about it, focus on it, and feel it. Feel the love you have when you pet your animals. Feel the love you have when you eat such delicious, wonderful food. Feel the love you have when you get to watch readings on YouTube and gain clarification. And, you know, get along with people in the comments that are also like-minded and going through other things probably very similar to yours feel that appreciation feel that love and feel that energy because spirit is really wanting you to focus on that right now all right all right let's see what else um ups and downs i see life as an incredible ride and i'm lucky to be on it yes the ups and downs make me want to puke sometimes but they're also what makes things fun and interesting and when you look back on it even puking on yourself makes for a good story all right ups and downs spirit is really trying to say i hear you i see you i feel you you are not alone the song hey queen is coming to my head right hey queen you know that song Ooh, right? You are not alone. Such a beautiful song, by the way. Beautiful Chorus is such a good artist. And I'm not saying that I'm only tuning into our queens here. I am tuning into my kings, queens, and non-binaries, all right? Hey, kings, all right? Hey, non-binaries, let's welcome us all in here today. You are not alone. You are not alone. There is just such a loud message there. Not only are you not alone in this three-dimensional world, but your guides are here. I know that it can feel like they're not. I know it can feel like they're leaving you out in the dark, but they're saying that these ups and downs were ups and downs that you chose before even incarnating onto this earth so you can learn and grow through certain lessons. You can learn certain things. You can value certain things. And if that pisses you off and you're getting mad at me, saying it throw it away all right you don't have to take what i'm saying you don't have to like what i'm saying if you don't like something take it and throw it away but you understand me love right like things go up and down life is not a linear path life is all the freaking over the place and sometimes it makes us want to puke but then sometimes it's so 
fun sometimes it's so beautiful sometimes it's so enjoyable and sometimes it freaking sucks and when it sucks it's about understanding that it's going to get better and when it's better it's about understanding that life is full of these beautiful moments and life is full of these really hard moments and that's what makes life life right that's what makes life life if it was all beauty all the time we wouldn't learn we wouldn't grow. We wouldn't expand our brains. We wouldn't expand our minds. We wouldn't expand our growing. But you are expanding. And that's why you're learning these things right now. All right. Any other messages here today? Let's see. Spirit, any other messages? I'm kind of feeling like there's one more card here that really wants to reveal itself. Let's see if there are any other messages for this beautiful reading. Spirit, what do we have to say? Any other messages? in the mood to sing right now personal growth are you kidding me as i move towards greater consciousness i feel old thoughts and habits fall away like training wheels on a bike they helped me get to where i am but now that i can ride i don't need those slow and crummy wheels except when I'm making bike analogies. All right, you are growing. I know that sometimes it doesn't feel that way. I know sometimes it feels frustrating. It makes you feel like you just wanna quit and give up, but you are growing. You are going through so much beautiful personal growth right now. But again, I want to remind you that sometimes, unfortunately, growing comes with growing pains, right? Growth comes with growing pains. Sometimes it's icky, sometimes it's uncomfortable. Sometimes it makes us wanna stop and say, let me off of this freaking bike. I need to go, you know, take a rest because I'm overwhelmed and that's okay identify that within yourself and accept that as well because we are not here to shame our emotions when you're going through this growth if you need to curse if you need to you know take some time off if you need to take a staycation and just like unplug for a bit that's okay because you are still growing you are growing this is a growth period think about yourself in the caterpillar to butterfly analogy you were a caterpillar living on the ground knowing all these things you knew your smells you knew your taste you knew exactly Exactly where to go and how to get there and then one day you went into a cocoon and then you became goo okay and right now you might be in your goo state things are unfamiliar things are uncertain it can feel incredibly isolating it can feel incredibly lonely because you are by yourself in this state of like uncertainty and it can really really suck but when you're in this goo phase what are you doing you're quite literally re like recalibrating your cellular level energy i don't know how else to word this and you're going to ex like leave that as a mother effing freaking butterfly you are upgrading all right you are leveling up you are shifting energies you are shifting who you are and it is magnificent it is beautiful it is glorious but when you're in your <laughs> When you're in your goo state, accept that. When you're in, in your goo, goo state, allow that. Allow yourself to let rest. Allow yourself to be in that gooey phase right now. It's okay. It's okay, all right? Allow yourself to rest. Rest, allow yourself to let it go, and allow yourself to really welcome in the energy of the growth that is coming. I'm kind of being called to pull the top card of this just to kind of see if there are any other messages. Divine timing. Everything in ti is timing timing and timing is everything gladly i really gladly i release my concern over timing and let things happen when and as they will i trust that the divine schedule makers know what they're doing it can take a long time to reach divine middle management all right and i know i'm probably tuning into somebody that's like divine timing is taking their sweet ass time and i'm tired of it they are late they are not on schedule all right but it's again about understanding that this is happening in divine timing not what we think is divine timing but what is actually divine timing for your personal growth and for your highest good of all again i know that is frustrating so if you don't like what i'm saying throw it away who cares it's okay this is just guidance all right you don't have to take everything i'm saying verbatim but it would take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't but spirit is really saying things are happening for divine timing sorry things are happening in divine timing for divine reasons and although we can't see it now i really do feel like it's going to be clear to you very 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 soon so don't give up all right don't give up right before the miracle occurs don't give up right before you get that ten of pentacles energy don't give up right before you get this beautiful car hidden in wrapping paper all right don't give up keep going keep growing keep expanding keep knowing you are beautiful you are amazing and i am so grateful you are here i hope that this reading provided you some clarity provided you some guidance 
if it did please leave a comment down below and let me know and definitely be sure to subscribe and join the family if you like what you saw here and you want to see more of it i want to remind y'all that i do have a patreon which is lives light i also am accepting private readings my private readings have changed i no longer am doing the live one-on-one -on -one format but i am now instead doing um readings kind of like this but they're personalized so you would get a recorded reading exactly in this setup here but it would be a 100 personalized reading just for you sent to your email that you could keep for however long you wanted to so it's definitely a different kind of vibe over there but still just as fun and the coupon code grateful is actually applicable to any of my services now for the month of march because i kind of changed things up and i wanted you to still use that coupon so use coupon code grateful if you would like 10 percent off any services over there on my website at www.marinastarot.com i do accept both tips and donations on this channel which are never required just receive with so much joy love and respect activity so thank you so much i accept those all at paypal venmo and cash app all right and then what else i think that's all <laughs> i love you cuties so much oh i did reopen my amazon wish list because a lot of you were asking about it and honestly i closed it off because i just was getting too many um gifts and i didn't have space for them but i really want to be in the energy of receiving right now so if you would like to send me a gift again not at all required not even expected just a fun little way of you know giving and receiving to be honest with you so it is going to be my amazon wish list it'll be linked down below under Liv's links you can check it all out there all right i love you cutie so much i'm so incredibly grateful for you we will be back to our regular schedule pick a cards very soon but i just want to try this different format today and i really liked it so i hope you liked this as well if you liked these channeled just kind of collective readings let me know and i'll definitely do more of them for you i love you cuties i am so grateful you are here i'm so proud of you for being here and i just i'm proud of you all right i'm proud of you for everything you've gone through and i'm proud of you for keep going for keeping going my grammar is like off the freaking charts wrong today all right but i'm so grateful for you i love you i adore you always remember to show others love show your light and shine so bright and i will see you cuties for my next video bye mm -hmm.